Welcome to Cunningham Piano. I'm Hugh Sung. I wanted to take a look at some of the cool tech that I use to enhance my group piano instruction. Starting, of course, with a fantastic digital piano, this is the Yamaha CVP709 Clavinova, one of the most advanced digital pianos. It's perfectly suited for teaching class piano. I'm not going to spend too much on the Clavinova itself, but rather some of the cool ways that I can enhance my instruction from this instrument using things that can be displayed and shared in a number of ways. To start off, I'm using a multi-port HDMI switcher. What this allows me to do is it allows me to input various HDMI video inputs from, say, my computer, from my iPad, from the webcam, which is showing this overhead view. And I can have them all go into here and route out and connect into the HDMI port of my television or projector. Okay, So this is where it all begins in terms of enhancing my instruction. So right off the bat, if I want to show where middle C is, I can show them. You can look at my hands. And I can show the fingering, which fingers I want to use. It's a great way to show very, very quickly to a large number of students which finger positions and which notes to be playing. All right, so that's my overhead webcam that's connected directly actually into my computer, which then is connected into the HDMI video switch, then going into the display device, whether it's a television or a projector. All right, but that's not all. I can switch the HDMI switcher, and now, in just a moment, we're taking a quick look at the LCD touchscreen from this CVP709 Clavinova. So if I want to tell the folks that we're going to change the instrument from this piano, touch the middle of the screen over here, and let's choose a guitar sound instead. Let's go ahead and maybe pick a nylon flamenco guitar, whatever. Close this, and here we go. All right, so now I can show how to quickly navigate the different functions on my CVP709. And this particular uh, instrument has a VGA out um, adapter, so I can export the video from this. Now, you should note that from a VGA to an HDMI input, you will need a video converter box. And I actually have that connecting the VGA port from here into an HDMI input over here so that I can translate all of that going into an HDMI input on my television. Okay. Don't worry, I'm going to have links to all the equipment I use in the notes below. So anyway, I can show very, very quickly how to change the function of the different things I'm going to do on the Clavinova very easily to the whole class so nobody gets lost in terms of changing sounds, functions, styles, accompaniment patterns, and so on and so forth. I'm going to go ahead and hit the switcher on my video HDMI switcher, and now we're having a view of the sheet music that we're working on. This sheet music is being displayed from my iPad. My iPad is running an app that enables me to draw markings. So let's say we're going to start learning this piece, and I want to show everybody what fingering I'm going to use. We're going to put a 1 on G, 4, 3. See, I can actually annotate and draw fingerings just like I would with paper sheet music, except in a format that everybody can see. Of course, I can draw in different colors. I can show, hey, this is a half note. Watch out over here. I can scroll in and out. We can navigate along the music. We can zoom in on certain specific measures. A oh, fantastic way to work with sheet music and to get your students to understand very, very quickly some of the instructions you want to share. Okay, so I've, we're taking a look at some of the notes. I'm going to show, perhaps with my overhead cam, where that G is. Here's three black keys. Here's a G with my thumb over here. Put your forefinger on C over here. But that's not all. I don't have to just show them with just this overhead cam. If I want to talk a little bit more about some of the theory, I can open up an app on my computer. And this is an app made by Time Warp Technologies called Classroom Maestro. This is one of my favorite classroom apps. And take a look at this. I can play a note on my Clavinova and then it'll display what that note is and also where it is on a virtual keyboard. Let me kind of move this out of the way so we can see this more clearly. Here we go. So here's G, here's C, okay, so on and so forth. So I can very quickly show names of notes or I can talk about chords. All right, you can do 
chord theory, chord harmony. You can do a whole. You can do, even do intervals. Fantastic. So many ways we can incorporate a program like this. Now to get this connected, and of course the. Um, CVP-709, as with all Clavinovas, have standard MIDI ports, and also many of them also have USB, uh, USB MIDI connector capabilities as well, using the USB port to go into the USB port here. But there's also, I'm using actually something really, really cool. This is an accessory made by Yamaha. This is, if you can see this, this is the MD-BT-01 Bluetooth MIDI adapter. So these two ports over here connect into the standard MIDI ports of the Clavinova. It draws power from those ports so I don't have to plug anything else into here and then wirelessly sends the musical MIDI data from this Clavinova into my computer so I can have whatever I play here affect different programs on my computer which I then can have output into an HDMI, HDMI video slot in here and then of course displayed onto my television or my projector. Now this particular model is made by Zetagard and it comes with a physical button which I can switch between the different views, okay? Let's take a look and now I have this view over here. I'm going to go actually switch over. By the way, the app that I'm using for my webcam is a great app called Quick Camera. This is a Quick Camera for Mac. I'm sure there are equivalent for Windows machines as well. You're going to want to look for some sort of a webcam view, a very simple webcam viewing app. This is something I happen to find in the App Store for Macs. It's free. It's simple. All I wanted to do is display the, feed, the video feed from my webcam. It's a st standard webcam that I have mounted on a high microphone pole. Okay. What I really like about this particular HDMI switcher is the fact that I can use this remote. So if I want to jump, instead of going sequentially between the video feeds, if I want to jump uh, to a certain spot, so here's the, the cam feed. Let's say I want to go right to the music feed, go backwards, okay? That's my music feed, and go back to the cam feed. I can very quickly jump back and forth. I can go out of order. Let's say I want to show now something on the Clavinova in terms of the touch screen. We can do that, and back to the camera. So I can very, very easily switch back and forth. One other really cool thing that I can do is I can also do picture in picture. So if I want to take a look at the music over here, okay, here's the music. Let's do picture in picture now. And then we can also see different views pop up. Let's say we want to take a look at this, all right, so on and so forth. So you can have lots of different options for showing multiple screens if that's helpful. In this instance, it's a little bit, a little bit on the small side. I'm going to leave that out for now. But anyway. It's cool, cool functions over here. Let's kind of get that out of the way. Nope, well, let's see. There we go. Okay. So, anyway, that's a quick look at some of the ways that I use various connections, this HDMI multi-port switcher, some great programs on my Mac, having a simple webcam overhead for keyboard views, all coupled to enhance my lessons so that when I'm explaining something, I can show the music, I can show my fingering, I can show the notes, the theory, all from this position here. It makes it so easy to convey, convey a lot of information to a large number of students all at once. Anyway, like I said, if you want more details on the specific equipment and where you can get them, I'll have those links posted in the notes below. Thanks for watching. If you have any questions, feel free to post them to me. Be sure to subscribe so that we can let you know whenever we have new videos. For Cunningham Piano, I'm Hugh Sung. Thanks so much for watching. I hope you found this helpful. We'll see you next time.